Yo, welcome back. Hope everybody's doing great and having a good day. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for the ones that's been liking, subscribing. Don't forget to do so if you haven't already. Because remember, we have more daily content and you don't want to miss out. Later on the day, we're going to have a little bit of more, uh, more live stream. Don't forget to check my old videos out because I got over 450 and I guarantee there's something one or two of that I know it's some more like. So let's get to it. Let's hit this button right here. And see, wait a minute, let me check the owl thing. I don't think I've done that in a little while. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's do that in a minute. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, before I do that. Upper Hogsville, a box of letters. Since I'm already in here, I'm just going to do that real fast, then I'll get some more. What? Oh, okay, I was going to say, what What happened? Wait a minute, is it in the greenhouse? Sorry for the little static noise, I moved my hand on my mic just to make sure. Ooh. I like that. What, there's another one? Hello. Mine. <laughs> Not really mine, but you know. Mine now. Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing tentacular. Revelio. We'll see what that goes to in a minute. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready <coughs> to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing is mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Okay. Wait, I no. told her. Professor, I was wondering where you're from. What's your background? Oh, how nice of you to ask. Well, let's see. I grew up in London, <coughs> right on the Thames. That sounds lovely. All the sights and bustle of a city. To some, yes. I used to dream of living in the country, but it wasn't until I came to Hogwarts that I felt truly at home. Mind you, it did take some time. And whilst it is my fervent hope that each student eventually feels as at home here as I do, it is not always the case. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we each bloom differently, don't we? Some of us, like the Devil's Snare, thrive in the shadows, whilst others crave the attention of a bouncing bulb. And we each grow and thrive according to our own plan. Oh, I was terrible. You see, as a child, I knew nothing of witches or wizards. You can imagine how astonished I was to receive my letter from Hogwarts. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. Oh, but I've given you the wrong impression. On the contrary, I was shown great kindness. 
How fortunate. I was indeed. I dare say you'll find that the friends you make... Now, I'd best get to my recent delivery from the man. Lovely to see you. Now, let's see what... Wait a minute. How do I get over there? Hmm, so if I go this way... Go up here... Wait, how did you... Okay. Rebellion. Okay, now where does that thing at? You can't tell me it's invisible. What? Can I dive? How do I? How in the? How do I get that? I've always said that travel broadens. Now. Yep, let's not worry about that right now. That messes my head trying to figure out, like, how? <laughs> Let's do that. What? Why did it go over here? What did you, what did it do? For a second, it glitched out of get up. I couldn't do anything. What? What? Uh, that don't make no sense. Wait a minute. If I unlock that one, oh, never mind. I ain't went that way yet, I don't think. <coughs> okay. Check my gear out, my inventory. One thing to get rid of. Two things to get rid of. Three. Okay. Four. Well, oh, I don't want to get rid of that. get a better one eventually since it's already better I'm just go ahead and use it what is that it's kind of cool I got a bunch of stuff thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing Save me a lot of time and trouble. We got eighteen thousand. Not I bad. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
Revelio. Turn quick. If you're stuck with a door and fall feather, it doesn't half hurt. Revelio. Right. I want to see what this lady has, because. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derricall feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derry calls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whooper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The choir knows things. Oh, but such marvelous feathers. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Oh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can. Thank you, I will. Take all the time. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself rebellion. Cool. What? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Onward. Wait, wait, which way am I going? Okay. Well, oh, don't auto grant go. We click this and we find the map. It's the map. It's the map. Well, I didn't know I went that far. Do that one and go over here. We'll fly and unlock that real fast. Since it's not very far. Mine's me and a dog. I nearly fell out of a car at three dots. I was only young, mine. Not like I'd fall out now. Lucky if I've bitten one now.
Okay. On the next one. That way I can teleport a little bit faster when I need to. Where am I going? Okay. Got turned around. Can't enter by mounted. Okay. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. The wrong button again. I gotta have what, what I do that for. Open the map. Super speed. That one, that one, and where's the other one? There should be three. One, two. Wait a minute, there gotta be a third one. Ah, oh, okay. Right here is where I need to be. So I need to fly up on this right here after I get that. Okay. Use. You be joking me. It said land. Wait, what's this? I should do everything else. Rebellion. I like how you sit there. You can. You can. Uh. What is that? Oh, eggs. Okay, I thought it was a chest. Okay. I'm just seeing that and I know for a fact I could complete it real quick. So. Balloons! When I see that, I want to pop the balloons. Ah, up a Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. Rebellion. 
bard of Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. This looks intriguing. Mine now, demi guys. Aloha, Mora. Sometimes it's really hard to find. Revelio. Ooh. I'm glad I looked behind me. I like this place. There's a lot of nice stuff in here. Revelio. Hello, Mora. Hello, Mora. Hogsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock royalists. It's not right. Revelio. No, 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 no. Maybe that wasn't something they're getting, huh? Revelio. Storybook. Hmm. Good for you. Maybe I can. Oh, whoa. I can't enter while mounted. Oh, this ladder. Now I feel like an idiot. Thanks a lot. Ranrock's loyalists are a menace. Rebellion. What can be done? Why hello again? Uh, 
That looks weird. Hmm. Do it again. Cool. I think I taught this lady right here. Huh. Seems a pleasant enough little place. You are most kind. Wager I could handle another enchantment now. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Baldor dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I... Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Revelio. If things keep going as they are, well... It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. What is that? I don't know. Let's have some fun. You will regret coming here. Let me see. Don't break the gate. Expel it. Stop it. Let me see. Not quiet, Emily. No, oh, you want to put you down, do you? Did all the little things fall down? Poor down. thing. One more to go. Oh, poor little enemy. Rebellion. Man, I didn't know I could jump that high, but okay. Walk by that. Oh, never mind. That's a potion. What? Okay, I was getting to say, why can't I put them from the mount? Revelio. A bit of dying, are we? Why am I always on patrol? Let me On Ranrock's hands. Revelling. Okay, playing. Both camps cleared. Alan Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Couldn't bring up. Expelling armors. Revelio. Hmm. That was fun. They didn't have much fun, though. Looks like some pretty good food.
That just made me hungrier. <laughs> Ooh. Stuff in a castle. Oh, I didn't know I could do that, but okay. Up, up, up in the way. Wait a minute. Is that a lock? Can I lock that? What in the world was attached to it? Well, I don't know. But. Rebellion. Hello. Oh, look. You mean I could have come? Okay. That's nice. Wait a minute. What? What? Oh, there's still something up above me. Oh no, that's a. You just go down in there. You didn't went down there once. Poof. On my way. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. I would say that Irondale is not appropriately named. This is utter nonsense. Pop. I've never heard that rubbish in all my life. Pop. Pop. And pop. Not sure how I'd fare in a little. Ah, I behold. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Sincerely. Marvelous. I could always use more of these. I'm well, good, I got plenty more. This might help you out. Ooh. That looks nice. Thank you for passing through. Did 
Those are, they're probably way better than what I got right there. <clears throat> I still haven't found a handle that looks better than what I got right here, other than this red one right here. Ooh, equipped that, but I don't like the full the cloak that color though. On that, I don't want the cape. I'm not Superman. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Now let's sell the other one. It's gonna take me a second, but it's gonna. What you're looking for exactly? Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling <coughs> Aiden used to collect hawk. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be... Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a bra. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I... What? What do you mean? I just... Excuse me. Did you... Oh, hello again. I was just... Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some room. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwine. Shame, really. With Ranrock's camps cleared out, I have a feeling he'd have given up on Doc. I can certainly look out. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that... Cla Cool. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Revelio. Past the river near the forest. I must be on the right track. What is that? What are those things? Good bring them. Spread the arms. Stupid. 
Here's a letter. This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolf's turn next. I don't know what the hell a bird that is, but there, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Revelio. from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. In your life. Revelio. It's like a place right out of a storybook. I do hope my brother is all right. <coughs> Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badoff? What do you know of my brother? I 
I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius. And... I had to kill him. What? But... but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd! He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no! No! This can't be! I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more? Bardolf, my dear, dear brother. I said you Why, hello again. Come and listen. I have a quiet <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> What kind of gear I've got? Not a bad looking handle. Pretty neat. But I still like this one. Some students at Hogwarts that we could read. Let me open it. Ah. It's very often. Ah. Stupid. Collect reward. Revelio. He look flies. This must be the cavern Mrs. Brussel mentioned. This is where we're going to come to us to end for the day, guys. Hope everybody's doing great and enjoying the game and enjoying the content in general. Thanks for watching. This is Rocky Rotten, aka Old Timers Gaming. Peace out, but don't forget to like and subscribe and smash the notification bell button. We'll have more daily content. And cheers and peace out.